Hello students. Today we are going to discuss about reading comprehension. Previous slide we have discussed about language is a tool of communication. So there we understood about the different features and characteristics of language and its importance. Now here I would like to restate that language has four aspects or dimensions you can say listening, speaking, reading and writing. These are the four dimensions of language. So today in reading comprehension our focus is towards the reading skills of language. Now you are very familiar with this reading comprehension this word because in your school also you might have got a whole section in the English paper of reading passages where you might have read the passage and answered the questions. So basically when we talk about reading comprehension the students understand that much only reading a passage and answering the question but let me tell you reading is much more than that. So today we are going to discuss about reading comprehension in detail. So let us understand the topic in detail. Durkin has said comprehension is the essence of reading. Comprehension is the essence of reading. Now the word is comprehend. What do you mean by comprehend? The very statement what do you mean by comprehend in itself gives the meaning of comprehension. When you read something and you try to draw meaning out of it, you try to understand that, uh, that passage, whatever you have read, that is comprehending. So comprehension is the essence of reading. The whole purpose of reading lies in your ability of understanding and drawing inference, meaning out of that reading. So Comp read, reading comprehension is a complex thinking procedure. Reading is not just that you have read something. Reading is much more than that. You have read, you have understood what you have read, you have kept that in your mind. You have tried to draw meaning out of that, inference out of that and then your ability to transfer that to others. That is the whole procedure of reading. It's not just that you have read a story and just like that. No. Reading is actually reading, understanding, drawing inference as to what the writer wants to say in that passage and then having your own opinion about that. That is reading. Now, reading comprehension, as I said, is the ability to read the text, process it, understand its meaning and then comprehending the text at individual level. When you read something and you understand it, you try to draw not only the meaning, you try to draw inference out of that and based on that inference, you make an opinion. For example, it is just like this example that I am going to quote you. When you meet a person, you talk to that person, you interact and then you form an opinion about the person in two, three meetings or in one meeting. Reading is also like that. You read a passage, you understand the meaning and then you draw an inference out of that and you develop your own opinion or view about that. That is reading. Reading comprehension is the act of understanding what you are reading. So it is intentional. You cannot read just like that. Reading is intentional. For example, when you are going, uh, you are driving and you are going on a road, there are several hoardings and billboards and captions and logos are there. You, you do not read it always. But when you do read it carefully, that is intentional. So reading is intentional and an active procedure. It is sometimes interactive process that occurs before, during and after reading. You prepare yourself to read. Then you read something and after reading also you try to understand what you have read. That is the whole process of reading. Now, Barrett's taxonomy of reading comprehension. Now you can see in Barrett's, uh, according to Barrett's taxonomy, reading comprehension has different purposes. That is appreciation, evaluation, inferential comprehension, reorganization and literal comprehension. This is the taxonomy. This is the various types of reading comprehension according to Barrett. In appreciation, basically the purpose is to, to criticize, appraise someone, comment or appreciate. That is the appreciation purpose of a reading comprehension or a passage. Then is evaluation. When the purpose is to evaluate, the types can be analyzing, appraising, evaluating, justifying, 
reasoning, criticizing and judging. The third one is inferential comprehension. When the purpose is to predict or infer something or to guess meaning out of a given passage, we say it is, a infer it is an inferential comprehension. Then when we talk about reorganization, we are talking about regrouping, classifying, rearranging, uh, assembling, categorizing. Next is literal comprehension. When we talk about literal comprehension, we are basically topic, talking about labeling, listing, naming, renaming or repeating or restating something. So Barrett has said these can be the different purposes or objectives of a given passage and accordingly he has cat, uh, given different aspects for each category. Now next is three levels of comprehension. There are three levels of comprehension. Literal, interpretative and analytical. Sorry, applied. Now in literal comprehension, when we talk about literal passages, we are talking about the, uh, the passage which you read to get the literal information or knowledge. That means you read the words and you understand the meaning of those words only. Okay, it will be more clear through a chart that I will show you. When we talk about literal level, we talk about that you are reading a passage, you are reading the words and sentences and you are accurately grasping or getting the meaning out of those words by weaving the words and sentences. It just involves identifying the essential information. Okay, and with guidance, you can develop the skill of reading a passage and finding out what is important and what is less important in a data. That helps you to read fast. The purpose is learning or memorizing or just understanding. Now, when we talk about interpretative level, the first is literal. In interpretative level, what happens? You do not just read the words or sentences to understand the meaning, but you try to find out between the lines means what the writer ha has said and why he or she has said that that is reading between the lines looking at what is implied under that study means one is the meaning that comes from the words or sentences that are written and the other is the implied meaning. What is the intention of the writer through that passage? What does the writer wants to communicate? It requires you to combine different pieces of information to make an inference out of what is been said and this will come through lots of reading practice then only you can try to understand the hidden meaning or the implied meaning of a written passage because when we talk about literal meaning that is the simple question what when why where how you can read the text you can answer that but when we go to an advanced stage that is interpretative level you do not just read and understand the literal meaning you try to find out the implied meaning why this was said what was the purpose what was the objective so it is reading between the lines to determine what is meant by what is stated okay now the next is applied level after interpretative level and a more advanced level is the applied level in literal and interpretative level when you combine both these levels and reorganize and restructure that you get applied level now what happened you have read the literal thing you have understood the meaning in uh, interpretative you have tried to find out the inferred meaning that the writer intended but in applied level you have understood the literal meaning inferred meaning and based on that you have drawn your own conclusion you have formed your own opinion and view that becomes the applied level it is application please understand in literal you are just reading and transferring that information in interpretative you are trying to find the meaning based on your perception of the writer's per perception but in applied level you are applying that means based on your understanding of the literal meaning and the implied meaning you try to form your own opinion or your insight or a fresh idea a new creativity or some improvisation that is applied level it involves Critical reading and analysis. When you read something to analyze it, to give the summary of something, to synthesize, to construct something or to apply that information somewhere else. That is applied level. Through this diagram, we can better understand the concept. When you see there are three different levels, as I said, the three different levels, literal, interpretative and applied. So when we start with the base, 
literal is the base that is reading the line reading the line is the literal one where you just read the words read the sentence and try to find the meaning you do not have to do anything you have to read the line you have to find the meaning understand it simple reading the line so this is literal second one is interpretative in interpretative what we do you read between the lines means you have understood the literal meaning now you try to find why the writer has said this what does he want to say convey what is the implied meaning that is reading between the line trying to read something that is not written so that is interpretative reading between the line and the third one is the applied one can be stated as reading beyond the lines means you have understood the meaning you have uh, understood the implied meaning hidden meaning and then you try to find your opinion based on that you find uh, you try to find a fresh insight or something new out of that that is re reading beyond the line it's just like somebody is somebody is sitting and all many people are sitting and all of a sudden one person rises from the chair and starts to move towards the door now when we say what is the literal meaning? The person is simply going out. What is the implied meaning? What is the implied uh, meaning? What is the implied meaning here? That the person may wants to go for some urgent work or is not interested. Now beyond the line, then you will try to start uh, to find the reason why this person has taken this step. You will try to formulate an opinion about that person. So that is applied. So these are the three levels of reading comprehension. Now, when you have to develop a comprehension, you want to write a passage. These are the different aspects that you can consider about a topic. Say for example, a topic has been given to you and you want to develop a paragraph or a passage out of that. Now, the best trick to speak or write about a topic which you are not very familiar with is to ask yourself WH questions. WH questions are what, when, where, why, how. So when you start asking these questions about the given topic, you naturally get some answers which, which you can clap to in a proper manner, in a sequenced manner to create a passage. Now what type of questions you can ask about a given passage a uh, topic to write a passage is closed ended question, open ended questions, yes no questions, retailing, wait time and positive re reinforcements. Now let us start with the yes no questions. The questions where the answers are closed only to a yes or no, true or false. That is a yes no question. These type of questions are asked at the very beginner level. When you want to prompt somebody to speak something at least. We should refrain from asking such type of questions because they do not give any clarity. Okay. Now the second one is closed ended questions. In closed ended questions what happens? The answers can be given in one word. Those are closed ended. Very short answer. One word, one sentence. Those are closed ended questions. Mostly you will ask what are you doing? Where are you going? These are the simple questions where the answers can, can be given in one word or one sentence. The next one is open-ended question where the answers are very detailed. Mostly you should try to find open and to frame open-ended question about a topic to get the answers or at max close-ended question. This is the best option but you should avoid yes no question. Now retailing is also a type of question. In retailing uh, mostly what uh, an example can be taken I tell you a story and then I ask you to repeat or retell that story okay that is retailing telling you something and then asking you to repeat that so that is a retailing question wait time when you ask a question wait and uh, let the speaker answer the question or let the answer come to you automatically if the answer is not coming coming you can prompt with more question during the uh, wait time to give more clarity and then is the positive reinfo uh, reinforcement wherein you can reward a person verbally or non-verbal or non-verbally for a good, right answer verbal reinforcement can be well done good very good and non-verbal can be nodding your head 
patting the person. So these are the different types of techniques you can use to develop a paragraph. Now, this we have uh, explained in detail through the chart. You can read in detail and understand what I have told you through that chart only. Okay. So this was about reading comprehension. You can practice it at home. Try to develop the habit of reading newspapers, articles, short stories. It, can, it, 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 is not, it cannot be essentially a particular type of uh, passage or news that you are reading. It can be anything that interests you. Start with anything that you find interesting. Maybe small, uh, short stories you can read or you can read uh, stories or articles related to sports if it interests you or even cinema. Anything that interests you, start reading that and try to find the literal meaning, implied meaning and then you can go on to read analytical articles and frame your own opinion about that. Reading is a very very important skill and this is an art. If you will fail to develop on this skill, you may not be uh, reaching anywhere because in all the professions you need to read, you need to, uh, in order to understand the manuals, the policies, the procedures of a task, the modus operandi, everywhere you need to indulge in this activity. So please try to develop yourself in this skill. Thank you.